Okay, this is crazy. The markets turned downwards again. Papa Pao stated that he will keep increasing rates until it's necessary. And probably you're wondering, is it a good time to buy stocks now and the S&P 500? Probably you're looking for an S&P 500 trading strategy that you can apply in your day trading. But before I share with you one, let me tell you a story from the time when I was studying in London. I asked one of the traders in the London Academy for a trading strategy for the S&P and do you know what he answered to me? He said, Petko, since the time I know how the stock market works, I'm not trading stocks. And this is something I will definitely remember for a lifetime, but okay, how do we trade S&P then? And don't worry, you didn't click on this video to hear that I'm not trading the S&P because I know how it works. So let me show you all of the details on my computer and while we move everything, the lights, the microphone, the camera over there, you guys have the time to smash the like button. Hello everyone, it's Petko Alexandrov. I hope you're having an amazing day and it will become better because in today's Today's video, I will share with you an S&P 500 day trading strategy that you can apply easily on any trading platform. But I would suggest you to stick to MetaTrader because there you can trade with the robot, which you will find down in the description. Now, this strategy has two entry rules and one exit rule. It's very simple. There is the stop loss and the take profit. But what you need to keep in mind is that this strategy is for the M1 time frame, meaning that it is quite active and the trades usually will not last for the next day. And why I created such a strategy? Because if you keep your trades until the next day, you will pay swap to the broker. Or this is a fee we pay to the brokers if they roll over the trades for the next day. And quite often, Many students and traders say that they are not paying swap to their broker, especially on MetaTrader 5. But if I show you one of the platforms where I have two trades opened, one is for Apple, the other one is for Amazon, you will see that the swap is not visible. And this is why many think they are not paying swap. So how you can make it visible is you right click on that bar over here, right next to the price and you go to columns and you should check swap. So it will appear in here and you still see no values. Why is that? Because today is Monday, the 5th of September, 2022. And these trades were open on the 2nd of September, 2022. However, this was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the market is off. And once New York opens actually very shortly, we will see the market moving, the result will change, and I will see the swap at that point when the market is opened on the next day. One more time, make it visible by right click on the bar and select swap. And the other super important thing is that if you trade stocks or S&P, Dow Jones, no matter what it is, with a broker that charges as well a commission, you will most probably keep losing because if you pay swap, commission and spreads, which are usually high with most of the brokers, you can't end up making money because it's just too much fees we have to pay. So at least look for the brokers that have no commissions. Now this was the dark side of the brokers. Now let's light it up with a great strategy for the S&P 500. As I said, it works for the M1 time frame. So don't really try another other chart because you will lose money. If I switch to M5, you will see what is the difference. Profitable in the recent days, but in the long term, probably it will lose as well on M50. It is very losing on M30. It's a disaster. And on H1, not that bad, but recently not a good balance chart. So one more time, guys, the strategy I have designed for the M1 time frame, it was tested nearly 700 times. And if I have to get into more details, the stop loss is 6,400 and the take profit is 7,000 pips. Or to make it simpler, 
The stop loss is $64 of the S&P 500 price and take profit is $70. Or if you buy S&P at $4,000, you have to put a stop loss $64 below that and a take profit $70 above that or at $4,070. Now the entry rules are with the awesome oscillator and the IDX. So the two indicators should confirm in order to have a long trade or a short trade. It's just the very opposite. Now with the awesome oscillator for a long trade, we are looking that the oscillator should cross the level line downwards and the level is zero. This is how the awesome oscillator looks like whenever it crosses the zero line downwards, this is a signal to buy, but we need to have a confirmation from the IDX. So what is the confirmation we're looking for? IDX changes its direction upward with period of 19. Okay, the IDX is the blue line over here and we should see it changing upwards or to make it really simple, it should be dropping and at the moment when it starts rising again, if we have the signal from the awesome oscillator and those two confirm, then we can open the long trade. Now let me look for an example and right over here we have one. So at that moment you can see that we have very clearly awesome oscillator going below the zero line during that bar and on the opening of next one we have the long trade and at this moment you can see right over here changes its direction upwards. So we need to see one minute bar for confirmation and the opening of the next one we take the trade. So let me look for another example right over here we have a losing trade. The short trade is losing so let's have a look at it. Very opposite the awesome oscillator going above or crossing the zero line upwards and we have the confirmation that at this time right in here the IDX turns downwards okay this curve right over here. What happened we had the trade closing at this point because of the exit condition which is the standard deviation crossing the line. So if I go back to the editor you will see that the exit rule is standard deviation crosses the level line downwards and if I click on it you will see that we have period of 33 and level 4.10. And if I switch for the short exit, it is the very same rule, okay? It's not mirrored like what we would have for the entry. So whenever the standard deviation crosses the level line downwards, one more time, let me look for that example. Okay, here it is. You see that it went below the level line. It says you have to close the trade. It is an exit rule and we have to follow it. Okay guys, so this is really decent strategy for the M1 time frame. It is actually a little bit difficult to follow the strategy manually if I have to be honest with you because the IDX changing direction happens really fast, especially on the M1 time frame. I mean, you have to be really staring at your chart, no matter which platform you are using, at least you should receive some signals if you use trading view. But to make it easier, I have shared the robot down in the description so you don't need to handle the pain in your eyes and stare at the charts. You can just drop the expert advisor on the MetaTrader platform and the expert will start trading auto automatically it will buy when there is the signal and the confirmation it will sell when there is the opposite signal and it will place the stop loss and the take profit automatically with robots everything happens automatically and i'll be super happy if you let me know how your test went down in the comments and if you guys don't know how to start trading with the robot check out the link down in the description i have recorded a complete guide and uploaded it on YouTube for everyone who wants to know how to select a broker, download and install MetaTrader platform, how to place the robot on the charts and how to backtest it. But keep in mind that even the robot shows a fantastic backtest, 
there is no guarantee it will continue profiting in the future. And it's with everything else, right? If you are trading or investing using a certain strategy and if this strategy has been profitable so far, there is never guarantee it will be profitable in the future. That's why it is wise to trade a small portion of the risk capital you have prepared for trading or investing. I thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you grab some free stocks and crypto from the description down below the video. I wish you a wonderful day. Don't forget that I love you and I will see you soon.